If I had to describe myself, I would say I am very sensitive, very adventurous, and everyone loves me. I mean, what's not to love, you know? I've been traveling the world since a young age. When I was 17, I went on vacation with my mother to Argentina. I fell in love with the country, and I decided I wanted to live there and learn Spanish. And then I refused to come home. It's true. <laughs> I was living in Argentina two years when I met Leandro. Leandro quickly became my best friend, and I wanted to move back to the US, and I thought the best way to do that was to marry him and take him with me. So we got married six months later. Leandro and I were married for 10 years, but we were separated for the last three. I was young and immature, and I definitely rushed into a responsibility that I wasn't ready for. Last year, we agreed to get a divorce. I definitely was not looking for love after my divorce. I wanted to get to know myself and to see the world and spend my time traveling. I saw that the ticket to Ethiopia was very cheap, so I said, why not? I was waiting for a taxi outside a local hotel, and I saw a very attractive guy. I yelled out, don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> and it actually worked. Binyam is 29 years old. He's from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and everybody calls Binyam baby. He is a dancer, choreographer, martial artist, gymnast, and every other ist that exists. I desperately did not want a boyfriend at the time that I met Binyam because I definitely did not need the responsibility of being in a relationship. I did my best to avoid him. I told him, you know, we can't talk anymore. I can't see you anymore several times. But every time I would call him again, and ask him, oh, can you come over? Uh, what are you doing? And after dating for three months, I got some unexpected news. My name is Binyam. I'm living in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I'm 29 years old. I'm living with my brother and his wife and one bedroom house. I sleep in the living room. I'm the baby. Everybody is my family take care of me because beto sopochi is an yalu ne mutut. Bergetanyan asra asra sus asra ratan. Gin tamu nda mutu akarlo. Buzu kuzi alasta wusun pemen nda mutu. Inda baru le nikal. Zi daraja le meres. I have a lot of jobs. I do personal training. I'm a dancer in the nightclub, and I'm doing the MMA fighting. I love MMA fighting, and that's why I met Ari. I met Ari going to practice. She was in Ethiopia waiting for a taxi. She talked to me first, and then I gave her a sign. You have numbers? She said yes. She have a beautiful eye and a smile. She's so different from other girls. <laughs> and she supports me like no one else has. We didn't think about it for a baby, but we fall down the page. What does falling off the bed mean? <laughs> <laughs> we sleeping together romantically. <laughs> <laughs> then now we have baby coming. I'm so excited to be a father again. She is a very tough lady, so it's going to be difficult for him to show her that he loves me and that this is the best thing for us. Thank you. Ari, bitu sa wo chon tata muto da chon sa tata. That Uru, you never but you tell you what life to Tawadani Mamtato. 
ሷን እስከማገኛ ድረስ ያው በጣም ምን ደሞ እንግራ ገብቶ ይነበር ምክንያቱም ያ የምትመጣ ትልቅ ነገር ይዛልኝ ሰለ የምትመጣ አሪያለን ጋሪ ይገፋች ሰዓት ከነ እርግዝን ነው አጋ በጣም ደስ የሚል ስሜት ተሰማኝ ደስ ብሎኛ ምክንያቱም እዚ ስካውን ያለጭ ለኔ ፍቅር ብላ ነው I think Binyam is very endearing and seeing Ari so happy made me love him on my first impression. <laughs> like how's my baby? Huh? But I have a lot of digging to do before I'm convinced that Ariella should be staying here and raising her baby with Binyam in Ethiopia. Then you should smile. Look at your hair. You I love like it. it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Great. I think you have look different, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you like it better? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's great. I like it. It's, it's more comfortable for me. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't look at you because every time I feel like I'm going <laughs> Vinny looks totally different. We haven't seen each other in 3 months and before and he had really long dreadlocks which is what made me notice him right away. And now he looks so skinny and he cut his hair. It's like I'm looking at a stranger. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> We have enough room for our list up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So, I got a little nervous a little better now. No. <laughs> no, it's no, not. You're worse. <laughs> it's worse. I have so much anxiety right now. I feel like everything is different. Seeing him now it feels like meeting someone that you don't know and then you have to go live with them right away. I can't breathe while I can't breathe. and you might not be the same person that I left when I went to the US. Yeah. Yeah, you're here. You're fine. Fine. Can you help me? No, no, I'm upset. All your emotions have to settle out. I'm like overtired. <laughs> you know I don't handle stress very well. After arriving in Ethiopia, I was having a panic attack. Seeing baby after being apart for like three and a half months made me feel totally overwhelmed. I moved across the world for someone that I hardly even know, but I'm so happy to be with baby, and I just needed some time to calm down. We're dropping my mom off at the guest house where she's staying and then we're going to go see my new apartment. 
Give me a hug before you go. Mom, thanks for coming and traveling with me. I'm so lot. excited about this yeah. journey. I can't wait to see everything. I want to see the apartment. If it's terrible, I want to punch you in the face. You, you do know Utopia. I really hope that baby found a decent apartment because I don't know if he understood all my requirements. I need electricity, I need running water, I need hot water to shower and to make the baby's bath. So we'll see what he what he chose. I don't want to live outside with the cows. You, you're not sleeping <laughs> outside, but... I feel, like, scared. <laughs> <laughs> Home now. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you nervous? Always nervous. Okay. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, honey. Wait, are you taking me to like a dark alley where you're gonna like yeah, be careful. cut up my body? <sighs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, wow. Voila. <laughs> How's this? You want my honest opinion? <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> it's terrible. The colors are depressing, it's dark, and obviously it's leftover decorations from whoever is renting it. <laughs> you want to see the bathroom? Yeah, that's the most important part. Everything else is negotiable, but the bathroom is not negotiable. <laughs> I'm so nervous because I think she doesn't like it. You can look at it herself. I try everything. I want to make everybody happy. This bathroom looks like something from one of the Saw movies. I can smell the mold coming from the bathroom. Oh my God. <laughs> my mom is gonna hate this place and she's gonna grab me to the side and be like, you can't live here. You can't live in these conditions with a baby. <laughs> I hate it. No toilet seat. It's awful. This is horrible. I'm laughing, but inside I'm dying. Babe, I really love you, so I really don't want to hurt your feelings, but it's terrible. Yeah. Any book to change cover to a number, make it up. Ari, a part of Monaro de Tuchum, Salalo de Tuchumo, Yavirasi to Fat Salona, Summit Berlin, Nagar Salala Mordlot. When you have like a baby, mm -hmm. you don't want like dark place and yeah. you know, it's not nice. So we really need to find a nice place. Don't worry, we can figure it out. We can talk about it. This is the first time. Welcome to Africa. I traveled a lot of places and lived in precarious conditions. But now we're going to have a baby, we're starting a family, and this horrible apartment it gives me second thoughts about wanting to stay in Ethiopia. I love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't hate so me much. too much. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> I moved to Ethiopia two days ago, and so far nothing has been what I hoped it would be. After the apartments that baby picked out for us turned out to be terrible, my mom insisted we move into our hotel room. Oh, yeah. Wake up. Oh. I don't know. This weird. Good morning, baby. Good morning, mom. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. You slept well. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired. Like the baby. <laughs> it's very disappointing not to be able to settle into a new home. But at the same time, <laughs> I really do love Binyam. I miss you so much. I want to stay. I want to make things work. And the most important thing right now is to make sure that I feel safe to deliver here. So today we're going to see the hospital. Uh, Cadiz Hospital. 
If we don't like this hospital, my mom is going to want me to deliver in the U.S. And Binyam can't be there. I'm just very nervous. So, Mom, from my memory of having passed this way before, the hospital from the outside, not very nice. But we're going to see the inside of it. Are they, I don't want to say, lacking in services? I would say have low expectations. Have low expectations? No. Oof. You nervous? Yeah. I'm so very, very nervous for going to hospital. Because Ari's mother, she's a nurse. She knows very well America's uh, hospital. Ari Lani is a city, but America is a city. I'm a city, but I'm a city. Baby, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. He's not. I can tell by his eyes. Would you be nervous if I wasn't here? No, I don't know. Hi. Hi. Welcome Salam. to our hospital. Hi. Welcome to our hospital. I'm Sister Ryan. Let us go. Come on. Coming. Don't worry. I wouldn't miss it. My husband is a doctor. Okay. And so we have many concerns for Ari. Okay. Because we don't know Ethiopia. But now we're learning. Walking through this hospital, I'm looking to see whether it's clean and whether they have good midwives and all the equipment that they need. In the labor room, how many together? Sometimes three. No private room. But, uh, if you want, they have. Oh, you pay, you pay extra for a private room, right? Yeah. Oh. This is postnatal room. Ari would be in a room like this. This is private room only for yours. And this is neonatal ICU. Oh, neonatal ICU, okay. You have a lot of very good equipment. I am really surprised that they have a NICU in case of an emergency during the delivery. And as I'm walking through this hospital, I am shocked at the cleanliness and the way their processes flow. I'm Janice. The medical midwife. Ariella. Yes. So this is your labor room? Mm hmm So when, when you deliver the baby, do you have any safety issues? like people stealing babies or... We have tag. You, you'd use the tags, the yeah. security tags. OK. Yeah. And nobody's goes in her room unless she told us her mom, her husband. So be nice, Binyam, because she can decide who comes in her room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This is third wallet. So they have fear when they come here. But here, it's a very good thing, really. If she needs IV fluid, we have here. This is our ball. Hmm? You sit like here, this. And when labor comes, yeah. this is your husband is stand here, and he will massage you, and you do like this. <laughs> you want to practice now, just listen to this one? Yeah. OK, you go behind now. Come on, oh don't let God. her fall. Yes. Close your eyes. Breathe. Please wait you into this, yeah, Mom. this is very Please nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about that? You don't like it? Oh, I told you. <laughs> I definitely wasn't expecting them to take such an interest in showing me the hospital. I feel a lot better having seen everything. Everything will be OK here, I think so. There are things that Binyam and I still need to work out for me to feel at home here in Ethiopia. But I think I could see myself giving birth in this hospital. I will be the coach, baby. I didn't know what to expect when I came here, but seeing what you do and how you do it makes me feel that Ari is going to have really good care. Even though the hospital passed my test, I have mixed emotions because if it was bad, maybe I could take her home. So what, what do you think? Have you made your decision then what about delivering at that hospital? Yeah, I feel a lot better now that we went to the hospital. I think I could feel comfortable to stay here, deliver there. In a way, I still wish that the hospital turned out to be a disaster, because then I could have done my ulterior motive and brought Ari home with me. And what does Binyam think? Yeah, I like it. But I'm still feeling stressed, because I have known Binyam less than a week. And I don't know him well enough to determine whether he's good for Ari, that he's going to take really good care of her here in Ethiopia.
there's a lot of questions I have to ask you so that I feel good about you being with her and that you're going to take care of her the way yeah. I expect her to be taken care of. Yeah. So one of the things that I want to know, I have a lot of confusion about what happened with your first wife and how she just left. Even me, I'm confused. Uh, why she, she divorced me? You should find a message like uh, the girls. Someone is my old friend. Then she, she, she's not happy with us. I'm confused. She thought you were talking to other women. Yeah. And she didn't like that. I tell her I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry for everything. But wait, tell yeah. me, you're sorry? You didn't do anything wrong, though, you said. My mom can be intimidating. She doesn't have a lot of patience. And talking with Vinium in English requires a lot of patience. Vinium, meet Commando Mom. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, but she left, and then she, she blocked me. Well, did she have a reason? No, this is a reason. There was no reason? But don't you wonder what happened? Jenna, she, she has a lot of uh, questions for me, but we have like bad communication with us. It's, it's hard for me. Let me just ask you a question. You were married to an American. You find another American, and now you're having a baby with another American. I mean, is your plan to come to the United States? No, with an American wife? Absolutely not. Yeah. So what's your plan with Ari? Uh, yeah, we need to rent in like guest house. OK, so that's the next question. Yeah. So now this is going to cost money. You know, if you get a regular apartment and you don't live in squalor. I'm working like right and like my job, like dancing. And then I, I will start like singing. So is that going to support an apartment, a baby, food? Yeah. What do you think, Harry? Are you OK? You're so quiet maybe today. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm feeling overwhelmed and realizing we haven't established ourselves. We're not really sure what we need to spend money on. You're going to be calling me and dad if you need something? No, I don't want to be dependent on you, Mom. I'm worried that a lot of the financial burden will fall on me. I support myself mainly doing freelance writing and editing. And the last thing I want to do is be dependent upon my parents. This could be a big problem. This is the deal there. I don't know whether what he's doing is going to be able to support you. She gave up a very yeah. privileged life yes. to yeah. come here and stay with Maybe you not and he feels means. like uh, like good lives like yeah. where she had everything she needed yeah. i'm still apprehensive about binion's ability to understand what ariella needs i don't want to leave my baby here till i'm 100 percent. i want to make sure that everything is perfect for her yeah i hope you feel the same way yes oh look who just showed up Anybody know about Ari Bakul? Does he act in that? Yeah, and then again, day fetter. But if it can happen in real life, I want to show for my dance for Ari in Ari Mazar. Who is this person he's dancing with? His ex-girlfriend. For how long was he his girlfriend? I don't know. Oh my God, she is really cute. Thanks, Ma. You're supposed to be on my side. I am on your side. You gotta watch out here. Especially when he's dancing at night and you're home alone. When I was in the US and far away, Baby and his ex rekindled their friendship and she's his current dance partner. The idea of them dancing together every night, I don't know. I'm definitely a jealous person. I think anyone who says that they're not jealous is a liar. He's very flexible. I see chemistry between Binion and his dance partner. It seems to be a great match. <laughs> I Mom. <laughs> you have a lot more trust than I do. Yeah. Just 
see what he has to say. Oh, there he is. Hi, Mom. Oh, my God, that was amazing. <laughs> I didn't know you had talent. Thanks, Mom. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Huh? Don't kiss me because of my lipstick. <laughs> How are you? Wow, where did you get this shirt? <laughs> When is that I, a performance shirt? Yeah, when I know when I work in the club. So all the girls can see you and you know. Yeah, I can see yell you and just, scream. Yeah, shake your booty. Like. <laughs> <laughs> your partner. Oh, she's nice. beautiful. Yeah, she's really beautiful. She, so Take she was rest. your girlfriend. Yeah, she's wow. amazing. <laughs> what happened? Bazaar times, uh, like uh, I'm so rich, and then I didn't give a. You uh, wanted to go out to the club and drink with your friends, and and just be I'm a friend. jerk and be a bad boyfriend. <laughs> and I didn't give her uh, like attention, like. Uh, but you're over that now. Uh, no, it's over now. I'm grow up now. Just. Oh, you so grow so up. Oh, like, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> So I'm so happy to yes. see where you work. And yeah, everything. because you have to know about me. Because that's, this is my talent. Before. Uh, my ex, she, she, if she don't like my job, she don't, she doesn't support me, you know, because she's so jealous. One time, just I'm working here, it's empty with the with the people, just everybody is dancing, and I wearing this white uh, t-shirt, and then well, some girl she wants to uh, choose the song, and then I have gets this lippy stick, and then the lippy stick is not come off, and then I wash. Uh, Did you try to take it off? You washed it. I tried for three hours. It's surprise uh, night, you know, like the no morning's coming because I try washing, you know. So for three hours you tried to get the lipstick. You get the lipstick. Because she doesn't trust me, I, I don't want to find Luta. So uh, now I want to know. Yeah. If you get lipstick again, what are you going to do? If you trust me, I will tell her. But if he doesn't believe it, when I see her, that's why just it's better. Let me, if, let me try hi hiding, like just uh, mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Benim has told me multiple times about all the little white lies that he would tell to maintain his relationship. That is not what I want for mine. Lying to make things better only makes things worse. <laughs> Jackass. Arim bata masto kafalgalo ya Ethiopian culture na bahad. When you go into church, the Bible, he says that, the girl, she have to cover all the body. So let's see how we do Catholic the world, Christian and Indian, but I'm fat like that. So I can't read that. I'm not going to read that. I'm not going to read that. It's like important and all that. Let's see how the move, but I'm not going to read that. 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 So I'm coming to your church. You want to come to, you want to come see, to synagogue? You want to see what? Synagogue? Yeah, synagogue is like church. You wanna, you wanna go? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like in order to make this relationship work, I need to be open to things that normally I wouldn't be open to, like Vinny dancing with his ex-girlfriend at the club. I need to be willing to compromise. You're learning, huh, how to do it for a lady? Come on. Okay. And baptism is not something that I believe in personally, but because it's important to baby and he wants to baptize our son in the Orthodox faith, I'm going to the church today to learn more. This is Mikhail Church. Did you come here with your parents? Yes. My parents are also not of the same religion. My father is Jewish and my mother is Roman Catholic. Honestly, I always felt really uncomfortable with the idea of Christianity because I don't believe in hell. It's just so uh, awful to me. I don't think that it's something that we should be teaching our son about. ያጋጠም <laughs> So, you want to tell me what, explain for me a little bit? 
uh, the baby when is a uh, baptism. Uh, if you if you not change for your religion, is a baby he can't. So you can't baptize your son alone. Yeah, I can do alone because when you when you go back to your home, he he he, he gets your breast milk. He just is not Christian. So we need to both be the same religion. Yeah, and he says you have to baptize too. Sorry. This isn't gonna work. My first thought is no way. I've already given up so much and sacrificed so much to be with baby. I feel like he's just asking too much with this. Amen. I'm thinking about yeah. what the priest said. He said that we can't baptize our son if I'm not baptized. I know that it would make you feel good. I know it would make you happy. But I don't necessarily want to do that. Does that upset you? Yeah, for, like if he knows about for my religion, I'm so happy. So, you know, so just, I don't want to wear it uh, like something. You understand me? You don't want to fight about religion. I don't want to fight about religion. I feel really sad because I can't help but feel like I might not be the right person for him. But I love him, and I have no idea how we're going to get over this, how we're going to compromise on such an important topic. Are you excited yeah. to buy a car? Yeah. Baby insists that in order to live comfortably in Addis, we need to buy a car for when he goes back to work. Public transportation in Ethiopia is very difficult and taking a taxi all the time is expensive. So I told him to show me what our options are. Yaris, I know. Vits Yaris? That's a yeah? Come on. Ari, where the Seras Medlis, but I'm touching on Canabella. Gnatum Buzusra in Masalfuka, Srali Salanabruch, Makina Vinorin, Levitus Bucci, more, and Alarasi, but Tam Nagaruchulik and the Ligny Nabra. Sent the model of the Gaf. Two thousand eight. Oh, she, two thousand eight, what in a Zina chose the girl. Come on. Do they use automatic or manual cars? No, automatic. Oh, good, because I can't drive a manual. Yeah. So how much does a car like this cost? It's a dismetal sabash. Yeah, uh, 670000 Phone? Huh? Calculator? Is that rice? No, that's impossible. That cannot be that expensive. Yeah. That's this correct? Twenty-two thousand dollars for this car? Yeah. Twenty-two thousand three hundred dollars for this car. Yeah. That is insane. Would it you hono and then yeah, it's okay, what have we lot? Zamno, one now again, uh carat uno. Carat it of no me carato, back at Mukniath now would you hono. That's crazy. A used car like this in the US, it, yeah. it's so cheap. It would be like a third of the price. I understand, maybe I'm there, but it's here, like, it's very expensive car, like, if you buy it. So is there another car? Is there another less expensive car, older model? Because you can decide another model. So, take a Follow me. This one. I can't believe $20,000. I will repeat that number forever. It's ridiculous. I'm Miss Meta, sir, Shina. So how much is this car? 510. 
Okay, so what model of car is this? Like uh, 2001. 2001. That's insane. That's still 17. That's is that? How is that possible? Seventeen thousand dollars for a 2001. Uh. Uh, I'm sorry, please let me talk to her just a few, few minutes. Okay. I'll okay. talk to you. I'm sorry. Maybe. Come on. I'm not happy with the, with the options. In the U.S., like if you want to buy a car, there's so many different models. And Maybe. Then... This is Africa. Ari, Sala, Ethiopia, and Sala America, Sata, whatever, but don't be another day, but Yapa Sachin. The main thing is we need a car. Do you believe we need a car? We need a car. Yes, I understand it's important. That. Yes, I understand that. I'm not really sure how we're going to pay for the car. Listen to me. I'm working, you know? Well, I'm going somewhere where, like, I need a car. It's a good thing. If you don't need it, the car, we can sell it the same price. For the same price that the we bought it price, for? same price, yeah. Because I know it needs never go down the car. We can buy it. At the moment, I'm living off of savings, and things are starting to add up, like paying the rent and the car payment. I just assumed things would be cheaper in Ethiopia. I'm not sure how I feel about buying a car. It's so expensive. We have all the stuff to buy for a baby. Yeah. You know, I don't want to use all the money I have saved, you know, yeah. and I don't want to ask my parents for money. <laughs> I don't know my stomach. <laughs> Earlier today, I went to the hospital for a routine checkup, and I found out during the ultrasound that I was low on amniotic fluid. So I'm about to have a C-section. I'm starting to sweat. So, okay, are you scared? I'm, yes, I'm scared. Of course, I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared, but I'm scared. 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 I'm I don't want to be the baby's diet. Oh, God. You're not making me feel better. Ugh. I had planned with my parents for them to be here for the birth of the baby. Ugh. And all of a sudden, all of my plans are out the window. Hello? Hi, Mom. You OK? Um, I'm having the baby. I'm going to have the baby now. Oh, no. You're having the baby now? Yeah, they, the amniotic fluid decreased too much, so they want to do an emergency C-section. So what, um, what time are you going in? I guess it's when I get off the phone with you. Oh, my God. We're not going to be able to be there. Yeah, I know. I'm scared. That's, no, don't be scared. You'll be fine. Don't be scared, OK? I wanted to be there so I could give you moral support. Yeah. See my new grandson. Yeah. Just relax, I'm good. I can't wait to see him. Yeah. All right, get the baby out. Okay, love you, Mom. Love you. Okay, are you ready? Malit, are you ready? See you okay? I'm scared. Don't worry. She jammer, you not know about can a garunum, customarunum, and the Ganadum, Carlinum, Cabahalam, Mans or Cagarachanaza. Lich, Benormal, she wallet, yet not in the speaker, each umbra, salam me ball. Bound by surgery, but the Dragon, Simit, Pinam, Namian, and Greek, and Nessel Latal again. Left again, you on a girl, who's exist salamit of it. Go inside. This is her room. Come, 
Don't cry, okay? Just put you. I'm putting here. Don't be scared, okay? It's okay. Baby, baby, I know your story. Look at me. Okay. Doctor, she won't talk to you. We take a few cries, very difficult okay. to give you a spinal anesthesia. As I was. Make you keep quiet, okay? As a rice, we'll give you general anesthesia. Okay, just be okay. strong. Is she? Show me your strong, okay? No, no, Can no, you sit a little no, bit? No, no, no. Shh, shh, it's okay. Look, look. Look, shh. Wait, are you ready now? No. No. Please, take deep breaths and relax a little bit. Let's take a seat. Okay. Strong, okay? Just breathe. No. No. Stop telling me that you cry. General, let's take a seat. 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 But I'm for a chat. Yes, so now you do need to assess me. Baby, yes, so you want to assess me, no? Okay, okay, okay. So okay, baby. Okay. Let's get it done. Hello, Alex. Is he Alex? Who do you know? Fuck, 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 girl, cause. Uff, ni aku tu malas sekarang tanah fuskin lagi. Zab tam sari. Madam the Jones, the Anya like for you. Sarah's come here to dress, cause Allah says Karbam stay. I was told to do this inna. But Zan said, "Kulu, Gaina Kulu just to surround the Jones, Madam the Jones. Abro, yena kachi, yena kachi to metal." Hey, mommy, she be okay, okay? She be okay, mom. Don't worry. When it's burned, we'll do no matter for. I'll miss the name number now, but I'm far too number. Baby's here. Congratulations. Gin kulang kulang tum salam solo no bicara tak mana ini dustanya. I'm so happy. Hey ma'am, it's Bini. Just I want to say you just uh, congratulation. Everything is fine. Just they give it to her like uh, like full uh, anesthesia. How's the baby? The baby's cute. I will send for you. I'm for so you. excited. I can't, I can't wait to get there. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Me too, ma. I'm so happy here. Surprise! Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> yes, it surprises us. I love you, baby. You're so soft. The last thing I remember is telling the doctors just to give me a minute so I could calm down. And then I woke up to see my beautiful little baby boy sucking on my boob. He's so cute, and you're a lot smaller than I thought maybe you would be. I knew I wanted to be a mom, but I didn't know if I was ready. And then I didn't have a choice. I was going to be a mom. Why are you so sweet? It's amazing. It's shocking. It's so I have no words to describe this feeling. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How are you? 
the express reading so good. Hmm? Yeah. How are you feeling? Hello. Yeah. You look so much better now, so of much course, more calm. Yeah. I breeze, man. Yeah. Before I'm terrible, like, I'm scared. Like, yeah, I know I'm you're shocked, scared. Like, and then you freak out. Yeah, well, there's like That's... 50 people around me. I know one gave me a chance to just breathe for a second. And I told them, out. just wait, just wait. <laughs> we don't have time for that one. Hmm? I was not ready. Mm. It's, it was too much. Yeah. And then I'm so scared. I don't want to lose the baby, and then yeah. I'm scared about you. But then are you surprised? Everything's healthy, everything's normal? Yeah. Mm. You happy now? You have a whole new family? Yeah. Thanks for giving to me this baby. Oh, did so you hear I want to be a good father, okay? Listen to his little son. Yeah. He's got a cute, he's got a cute son. <laughs> Your mom, she won't talk to you. Can I call her? Call her. Okay. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi, Ar. Congratulations. Thanks. How do you feel? Tired and in pain. Are you in a lot of pain? Are they giving you something for pain? I, I They give you something. I don't know what it is, but uh, it comes and it goes, you know. You'll get over that fast. How's the baby? Good. He's just uh, suckling right now. Everything else is fine? Everything's fine. He looks good. Looks like I didn't make too many mistakes. Is he cute? He's cute. He has a lot of hair. Oh, my God. I need a picture of what he looks like. I wasn't saying for you. When do you think he would come? Well, I have to talk to Daddy today because when I was looking at the at the, the fairs, I keep wavering back and forth that I would come next week. So I'm just looking at that today. Yeah. I do not regret having the baby in Ethiopia, but I really miss my family. I'm gonna I'm gonna go rest. Let me call you back. Call me later, okay? My mom has become my best friend, and I wish she could be here with me and the baby. It's scary because when I go home, I don't have her support or help to take care of him. Thank you so much. But I'm just saying, I'm going to go home. 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 They're gonna have this little jagged inch, have this life, salary, salary, but I'm the solo one. Hey, hey, this is a surprise. Big surprise. It's a crazy day. How it feel to be a mom? I don't know. It's strange. Like I'm in shock, you know. So even now, I can't believe I have a baby next to me. He's a sweet baby. I like him, but no name yet. It's because they, we no, didn't expect it. Just got a nickname. Simba. It's Simba. Simba? He's yeah. a lion. <laughs> yeah. My son was born two days ago after a very chaotic C-section. And we're hoping to bring him home today. Oh, his head is so soft. Going home feels overwhelming, especially because my mom isn't here. I don't have any idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to do my best. Are you ready to go home? Yeah, so-so. <laughs> so, so. How do you feel it? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll, I'll live. I'll you're survive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're, when you go home, you're going to take care of your baby alone? Yeah. <laughs> without with, no, with no articles. Yeah, without yeah. no articles, I'll, you're free. You can go home. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, you can start packing. You know, it's so funny because in order to like take care of a human being, you just you just make it and then you just take it home. Nobody even checks if you like know what you're doing or anything. Like think about that. It's so weird. I mean, I think I'll be a good mom. I think I'm doing a okay job. But if you ask me, do I know what I'm doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, you did a good job. Being a new mom is stressful enough, but on top of that, I have to adapt to a new culture and a new country. Uh, honestly, everything is overwhelming. My belly hurts, but my baby's so cute. 
So, how are we getting home? So we're going by car. We don't have a car seat to, to take the baby home. The Ethiopia is not so... It's not a road, like, we don't have a road for about for car seats, like something. Everybody is doing, he hold them and then he take them in the car. You know why they say to use a car seat, Yeah, right? for safety. Oh, you know, I'm agree, I'm not agree for, but it's not too much far. You, know, you can hold them, just, you can walk five minutes. I can, I'm go home in the car, and you can walk the baby home. Yes. Ari, I think, over at the yeah, Africa. This is the yeah, I just want to go home. Uh, Babe? Yeah. You can't come with us in the car, okay? What? You can't come with us in the car. It's okay, just everybody's doing just like that. I know, you. but it's, I don't want the baby without a car seat. I, I don't want, I, I want you to welcome. It's just, it's very close. Uh, I don't want to fight, so, uh, yeah. Do you want to go to the baby? Do you want to go to the baby? So how he go? He's gonna walk. Ani, yau bagro mehedu, biju betam le sur adegano yena maso ondo mani. Andanya menalwat ing fatma tu indoor kechda lo le junizi. Le tanya betam ya yeroni tha betam sahina ber betam kebar saat la ber. Nak ke bami kina bani nor zanab la ni dal dia sebla. Oh my God, so much traffic today. What's, what's going on? A lot of instruction. Oh, it's not good. It's the last thing we want to do. I'm excited to go home. Oh my God. Are you serious? I see there's a lot of people outside. Like, I don't even know who these people are. <laughs> no, my name is here. I mean, I'd be happy to meet them at another time, but I just had a baby. I just want to rest. Hello, uh, how are you? How are you? Hi. So what is all this? Come on. Oh, my God. This is welcome home. Like, we need to do, like, a special something, and then they can go. Just... Oh, my God. This is for you, for your gifts. Uh, oh my God, who's she? He's so afraid. Yeah. Surprise on that lich. I'm glad to. Yeah, or as you any man nagar kwa thamla para yau lich thodlo si mada yau back in the mitarad na yani backun le lich welcome. This is not what I want to see right now. Malati ye bahar le mato yau kabi to sabuchi. Nega na mar for dumi yau topi abahar. Slazi si waras si warar si mata bahar. Are you okay? It's fine. Oh God. This way. I'm literally at a loss for words. In the U.S., I feel like people might send a fruit basket. They wouldn't kill the sheep right in front of me. Why do you do the thing with the sheep? It's culture like. For God, sacrifice like something for your happiness. We do like barbecue grill like something, and then we do celebration for like for baby, like welcome home and welcome. Uh, I just show you something your happiness. You know? <laughs> no. It's okay, baby. Come on. This is just like awful. <laughs> Yeah, it's not about for party. I know, I know, I know you don't think like it is a bad thing, but I don't want to see it die. Uh, but everything is for you and for you. Come on. I think that makes it worse. Huh? Now I'm responsible for sheep slaughter. Ari, this thing you're doing is really a bit of a 
ግን ይሄ ግን ለሷ ተብሎ የተዘጋጀ ነው ይሄ ደግሞ ከበፊት አባቶቻችን ሲወርድ ሲዋረድ የነበረ ባህላችን ነው I'm sorry but I don't know what to say to say but thank you I mean I The cultural differences between Benny and I are really starting to weigh on me. I don't know how much more I can take. I love you. Okay, babe. And while the first week with my son has been a struggle, I've never experienced a love like this before. This is like a big day for for Avi. Yeah. Avi is do like uh, uh or like this vaccine vaccine and then he need to be like cut uh, spinners <laughs> what are you calling this circumcision ah spell have to it's a come session usually the custom in the jewish faith is to have a memorial performed the breast 8 days after the baby is born but a circumcision is a surgery so i believe a surgeon should perform it I'm really having mixed feelings about it. I tried to talk to baby about it for several days, but he wouldn't even let me get in a word. I feel like throwing up when I think about how much this day is going to be painful for him. He need to be just like that strong this. Yo, lejachin ma ma masgarz yo bani wokul bani beto inde Ethiopia na de gideta no ya bahalim silona. እኛ ጋር ያው ከሰባ ቀን ጀምሮ ልጅ ግርዛት ይጀምራል ማይ ቤቢ ማሚስ ሄር ማሚስ ሄር ዶንት ክራይ ኢትስ ኦኬ ኢዝ ሂ ዋንት ቲ ፌድ ኤጋይን ዊ ፌድ ሂም አ ሎት ቱዴ ቢት ሂ ዳዝንት ጌት ላይክ ቱ ማች ኑትሮሽ ላይክ ላይክ ኢነርጂ ሰምቲንግ ኢፍ ሂ ድሪንክ ሰምቲንግ ዘ ቢ ቢ ሂ ድሪንክ ሰምቲንግ ዩ ኖ ኔን ሂ ኪን ጌት ላይክ ላይክ ጉድ ሚልክ ኢንሳይድ ዩ ፕሮብስ Yeah, but why do you assume that my milk is not good? You drink water, just water. You have to eat like uh, protein food, like something. I'm learning that baby has this bad habit of trying to control me, what I eat, what I drink, what I do. And when he starts, he doesn't just shut the up. He doesn't stop. You I'm... need energy, you know? I know. After I when your baby's birth, your energy can lose. No, I know, but I'm not like I'm eating when I'm hungry, and I like I can't force myself to eat things. Listen to me. I wait, tell wait. you before. I tell you before. Just I'm so worried about it. I mean, I don't know how to tell you anymore because I already told you. I'm not gonna say it again. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Ariana, Lija, Ayaz, Wale, Betam, Gana, Buzi, Karat. Let's do this before I change my mind. It's not a happy day for me. ግን ብዙ መልመድ አለበት ብያስባለሁ hey baby be strong today is very hard day for you baby how is it now is it good yes try going to box you and then go to the second shoes yeah i can like that and what is this 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 one is oral polio vaccine okay seeing your baby suffer even though it seems kind of silly you know like vaccines good for him but i don't like to see him scream like that it hurts when he cries thank you so much my poor baby are you ready it's for baby for his kids i don't know i knew he was always going to be circumcised but i really feel like i'm taking away a choice Uh, for him in his life like this is his you know body he should be able to decide what he wants to do with it uh, like this is good for him for baby now for if you cut him because she doesn't feel like uh, too much 
No, that's what you want to think. So think that. What about you? Don't want it? I don't. I don't. I don't think I agree with that. Don't worry. I will decide for you. Don't look at me like that. I have to go to the bathroom. I don't know. I don't wanna. I don't want him to hate me when he's older because he says he thinks that you know I mutilated him or something. So I don't feel good about it. But I know that there's no way baby would not let me do this, and certain people in my family wouldn't you know would not agree with that. So I feel a lot of pressure to do it as well. Where, where's the baby? No, she she take him a minute. For what? Uh, no, she wants to be ready. The doctor when he's coming, we can go inside. How does she get ready? What does she do when to get ready? I don't know. Just she want to get ready. She want to repair like naked or something. I know, but when someone takes my baby, I want to know what they're doing with him. Not the marriage I got. Then does he know me the regular? In fact, I be away around him. Fat the marriage. Don't worry. You just handed my baby to someone. I don't even know what what you did. Hi, my baby. She wanna take some. No, don't touch him. Yes. Well. Look at him. He's finally has some peace today after being upset all day. I don't want to with his peace. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Just no, don't don't touch him. Hey. No. Hello. Stop. Okay, stop it. Stop it. I don't want him to do this right now. Why? Because I'm I'm not comfortable. You should do whatever you want. Shh. Okay, you know what? You can wait for a second. I'm getting, I'm getting his clothes on so I can take him. I'm so mad, like, uh, I'm really upset now, but this time, just, even I don't want, I don't want to talk about it, maybe, just, I will talk, I will talk later, like, I have to go. Is <laughs> foreign job as a Ara ara, awak ni ada raga cuna ker? Tapi kalau ada, kalau pihak tu nazi negar alat dalam madam, ya. Nazi nazi yang bahalu cahulu ye nya, ya setara dek. Masa garis, alfa lagi mau ayala lagi. Betam tanari jina bar, selesai. Betam tanari jalan. Nazi mana bela? Berun kafto utuh. Can you tell me one reason why you say no? I'm tired of you being mean to me, okay? I really don't need you to be more mean, okay? I already have bad day. And I just don't feel like hearing whatever mean thing you have to say. I didn't mean to you. Why, because this is a culture, that's why you don't want no, it? No, it's uh, also Jewish culture. It's not like I don't understand it, but I just, I, I don't know, you just, i just not ready to do it today. I told you I'm not ready, and then... What does it mean, Ryan? It's, it's not you. She's doing this, Avi. It's... it's my baby. It's my baby, too. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the same thing I'm asking myself. What's wrong with you? Oh, my God. See, and now you start, oh, my God. Yes. Now you start. If you're going to be mean to me... Because only you're thinking you're yourself. I'm only thinking of myself? Yeah. Really? You're the one. Just uh, you're, you're a runaway. I didn't run away. Yeah. I, t I took my baby and I left. Are you alive? I'm. Yeah, but such a china. Yeah, yeah. Balona, my girl. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let me not do it. Don't yell at me. Yeah, yeah. Feel like it's no. Told you I didn't want to do this today. Everything always pressured me. Pressured me to do things I don't want to do. I told you you could baptize and all this stuff. Just let me do things my own way. I'm saying just if he if he. If he do, it's like early, the baby, he doesn't I get paid. I don't pain. care about early, late, whatever. The it same way for my you, My decision, my decision. I'm you thinking are. about my baby. No, you're not. 
you thinking now your your feeling is not about for your yes i'm thinking you about my like, son you're not thinking about him you're thinking my culture is she this, I'm, I'm dad i'm proud i want to do this i don't give a about your stupid feelings of masculinity is she, is she, why you you stop his uh cousin because you you're not nice to you that's why he doesn't know because i didn't even feel comfortable with the situation but uh, this is your feeling yes not for my son i'm not comfortable for him i see him finally has some peace he was upset earlier that he was drugged by the vaccine i want to give him some time i'm not comfortable with it for him i don't have a good feeling about it if i don't have a good feeling it means that something maybe something not good coming from it so i walked away what did I say to you this morning? My stress level is up here. I'm very, very, very stressed out. Much more than I can handle right now. And I really need from you to understand that I can't take any more stress. I really can't. I need just one week just to relax. Like, I'm just too stressed, okay? I'm just, I'm asking you. I don't want to yell at you. I don't want to fight with you. But I am too stressed out. It's not good for me. I can feel it in my body, my headache, my everything. I'm tired. It's making everything a lot harder. I just need some time, okay, to just relax again. And, and doing all this stuff is not helping. Kish, let's go home. We can go home. just fell asleep. My poor little guy. ነይበትም <laughs> Then we can go home with your little rest. Please go and rest. Okay, you need to be rest. Okay? I love you. I love you too. Can you kiss me? Oh. I want just like this smiling face. Huh? Mm -hmm. I definitely am seeing a different side of baby that I hadn't seen before. He is a good father and he has the best intentions, but sometimes it makes it so he's not a good boyfriend. It's nerve wracking to me that my parents are going to be here any minute and Benny and I have been fighting all day about communication issues. Me and Benny are, you know, we're kind of living our lives but not sharing them. And so it kind of feels shady, like he's hiding something from me. Are you excited for yeah. your, your dad? Yeah, I'm Especially. excited to yeah. have company. But I don't want to be upset when my parents are here, so I'm going to try to keep it together as best as possible. OK, you ready to meet my parents? Yeah, I'm so scared. You should be. Not in the magnet, but I'm a bar, no? Can you just open for me and they lock the door? Any minalwat lifara Michelo about the you minalwat? Yeah, are you no ro anano righto? Men in this in this Africa constant them is no righto. Nazin hulu kaya wala minalwat are you an antaltlo? Izoat izoat idal biyas sabal. Can you just hold it just? Yeah. Because it's so late and cold outside, I didn't want to bring the baby to the airport. So I'm going to wait in the lobby of my parents' hotel while baby goes to get them. I'm really glad we're going to be able to be staying with my parents at the hotel, you know, because they're not staying that long and we can have spend time with them, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, maybe my mom can help with Avi at night and stuff. I'm so excited because my parents decided that I needed to get a room next to them so that they can see the baby all the time. I forgot to tell you, I have to work on it tonight. It's fine, just after when you hang out together, and then I will go later, OK? No, it's not OK. 
hearing him tell me that he needs to work tonight after he already promised me that he wouldn't makes me feel like he doesn't give a and maybe I should be more suspicious. How does it make me look when it's you... It's night time now. How, how do you call? Nobody doesn't cover for me, like, you know? Yeah, but that sounds like bull to me. I wish if I stay with him, like, today, just I forgot I didn't tell for everybody. It's my fault, but I, I can't do that because I can't cover the job and I have to go. If you cared about making good impression on my parents, you wouldn't leave tonight. You want to see your family know you want to start fights with me? No, I don't want to fight with you. I'm trying to be calm before they come. I want you to explain everything and make me feel better. You don't understand me because we have bad conversation. Oh, I but understand I you're leaving. Listen, I will leave you after your family when you go to sleep. Your family is so tired. But what about me? You're leaving me alone. This is not okay. I'm really pissed off right now. I was not expecting my parents' visit to start off like this. I mean, my parents came here to meet him and to meet our new family, and now he's just gonna leave? I'm so disappointed right now. It looks like you really don't give a How are you? Oh my God, the cutest baby. Yes. And we brought a few things for you and, and Ari and Avi. Just, just a few. Oh, thank you so much. They're beautiful. Dr. Webb, I just... <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. A real live person instead of just uh, pictures. <laughs> yeah. This is for you. Just, for me too? Yeah. Welcome to Ethiopia. I just... It's flat. Like ours is good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so does he remind you of Ari? Yeah, yes. Does he remind you of yeah, Ari? Yeah, of course. He looked like him. Especially the baby. Like, so, look like Dr. Wayne. They just... So, so, just... so you'd have been able to pick me out. Fred, yeah. he's calling you Dr. Weinberg. I yeah, think I know. you need to change that. Because our respect and just, I was, I will uh, be nervous uh, just yeah, in the first right, time. Right. But if you continue to do that, you're going to make me uncomfortable. In my culture, you have to call like dad. Like, I become dad, right? Yeah, you're kind of okay. dad. I'm, yeah, dad. Dad. I'm dad. I'm dad dad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Ethiopia, dad. Good. Like, good. I mean, and my mom, my sweet mom. mom. Yes, yes. Meeting Binden for the first time is great. I always say that I look for people with kind eyes, and that just jumps out at you. He has kind eyes, and that's a heck of a good beginning. So we need to see this little guy. Yeah. You guys did a beautiful job. He's yeah, Ari so and the baby, cute. she's waiting. You and, uh... I know, I need to squeeze him. Yes. I need to get a hold of him. <laughs> I'm really excited, obviously, because I have a new grandson and can't wait to get my hands on him. It's what, about 10, 15 minutes to the hotel? Uh, five. I could have walked. Yeah. yeah. But I'm concerned about the fast forward from the last time I was here. How well are we doing with life in general and living in Ethiopia? Because it's not easy. Yeah, I was just here just. Oh my God, my hair! Wow, oh, Mom, mommy, you look great. Mommy, how are you? Oh my God, can I see him? Yeah. Oh, he's cuter than he is in camera. Can I hold him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking him. He's mine now. <laughs> Oh, my oh, my God. God. Look at... Missing the birth of my grandson was really epic for me because I've been there for all of them. He is the absolute cutest human being. I can't even tell you what it's like to hold Abby for the first time. Okay, Dad, here. So, Grandpa. Mom, there is a God. I'm turning my life over to service of the church because oh my, my dad is here in Africa. What'd you do, make a deal with God I and the devil to, the get devil him here? to get him here? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the strangest feeling in the world. I have no words to describe this feeling to see my father, who never travels and works all the time, that he's traveled 24 hours just to be here with me and the baby. Okay. I'm so happy when you happy smiling. He looked at his eyes and went, I'm looking in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> his eyes are wide open. <laughs> You know, I didn't see for Ari when she's smiling just like that for a long time. Just she's so happy, like. No, but just think about the the fact that your father is here. I mean, I'm just I have no words. No words. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, Ari Nagaruch Salari with some Nagaraja Mindam yet, but I really am scared about tell them have to go work. Yeah, I have a, I have work today. 
I love to stay with you guys, like... Uh, so what do you have to do tonight? Like singing. Yeah. Uh, he, has an, he has an issue with uh, planning. So maybe maybe he doesn't know ahead of time when he's going to have his next Mom, you're making excuses for him. No, I'm just trying to figure it out. No, I know I know before, but I forgot to tell her, like, ah, today busted. is happening. Just, yeah. Busted. Yeah, I know. You knew and you didn't tell her. Yes. Uh-oh, that seems to wipe the smile off your face. Yeah. I'm worried not knowing how much Binion is helping her with the baby and whether she's feeling lonely or it's just after you have the baby, your life changes so much that she is having, you know, a little bit trouble handling it. Go check in. Yeah, let's let's check in, definitely. Wait till you see okay. all the stuff there. Binion is a great father, but he's not been around when I need him. Pack and play. There you go. Fred, you got the key? Our relationship is not easy. Oh, my God. They have the scale, and right next to it, they have cake. I'm going to go eat that cake. Can we hide the scale? Work your dad magic. <laughs> because you saw, well, he knows I'm leaving, that's why. Yeah, I'm sure he knows. You know, if you don't wake up tomorrow, I'm going to be really angry. It's, we don't have a lot of time with my parents because it's be really disrespectful if tomorrow you sleep all day. Yeah. I support Baby in all his creative endeavors, but his job is not what I expected. Oh. Now you're going to leave me with the crying baby. Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh. I never expected to be waiting at home for someone who's uh, out late, you know, entertaining and flirting with people as a means of making money. I'm sorry, I have to before I will tell you, but I will come soon. Just mm -hmm. okay. be safe and don't walk alone at night. Okay, I'm not. Okay. I love you. I'm so angry right now. My parents just flew 24 hours to meet him and to meet our new family, and now he's just gonna leave. Like, I'm embarrassed. Uh, I think it makes him look like a jerk. Bye. It's really important for me to feel like my father likes him. I don't want him to think that I made a bad decision by coming here to Ethiopia. If things don't go well with baby this week, then it would make me question my choices. My parents are leaving for the States soon, and, you know, I can tell that they are worried about leaving me and Avi here. But I'm hoping that once they meet Vinny's siblings, they'll see that he has a strong support system, and it will help put their mind at ease. Mimi, this is my dad. Okay. Oh. Wish, it's nice to see you. Uh, so how are these guys doing with the baby? They're trying. They're trying? <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question for you guys, too. Do you remember the last time we were talking about them not communicating well? How's that going? What do you think? How are we doing? She really gave mine first. Mm -hmm. and still. Yeah, yeah, still. Oh my guy, my little guy. He needs oh, a blanket. Where's clothes. the blanket? Where's the blanket? Just put it around. Mom, it's gonna. Well, you know, I'm. We're having some difficulty because I'm stuck at home alone. You know, and I'm wondering what is he doing when he's been out all day. Maybe it's like cultural thing that he doesn't have to explain things to me, but I'm not happy about it. In my culture, it's weird if a woman shout at a man. If your husband does something that bothers you, you just let him go and he does no, whatever no, no, he wants? No, no, you don't. That's... You just go to his parents, you talk to them, and also you can't talk, you don't. Like, yeah, she, she needs to be more she out, like, she just his shout father, in the like street, the and people mm. be like, like, Much. she's a white girl, and... Like, she, uh, like, so she wanted to, like, to act like bossy, like something, just... Wow. <laughs> this isn't sounding so good here. Listening to Binyam's sister speaking about Ari's temper, 
I think there's two sides to every story. Ari does tend at times to fly off the handle, but many times she has a reason for it. Knowing my daughter like I do, this doesn't seem to me to be the kind of culture that Ari will thrive in. Listen, like, you know, you should really try to understand my perspective that I'm here alone, you know, I'm not with, I don't have my family. A lot of times I'm stressed out. My whole life is different and his life hasn't changed that much. You have to calm down. She have to control her feeling. She just treats him like a baby, like 10 years old baby, like, come here, like, go out, and come back. Like, Biniam, he have a patient, but like, once he don't have a patient, he will go forever. I think she would regret that day. Not to bring up another controversy, but we're talking about all of this. Have you discussed how you're gonna raise the baby? You know, because I, when Dad and I, since we're different faiths, my grandmothers and my mother wanted Ari to be baptized, and we had promised his father and mother that she would be, go to Hebrew school and learn the Jewish religion. And I had a lot of trouble with that because I wanted her to be baptized. We're happy I the baby is baptized. Yo. I didn't tell them yet, so I, <laughs> I was just about to tell them. Oh, What's, what are you telling us then? I agree, the ba baby asked me, he said the one thing that he really wants is really important and really important to your family is that we baptize the baby. So I justified it to myself, you're just gonna put him in some water and you know, it's nice, everyone's gonna have a party for him, you know, so I just, just don't wanna analyze it too much. Because of what it really means. I just when you baptize them, they're baptized into that faith usually. Being told that Abby is going to be baptized uh, is a, a true shock. But I thought, having spoken to Ari, that Abby would be brought up Jewish. I think it's. I think she's being forced upon. It certainly would not have come from her. I think you know. I don't shock very easily, but um, th this is this is getting up there. Baptisms. He came to me basically crying and, was, and asked me, please, this is so important for me. Yeah, it's very important and, for And you me. know what, honestly, I don't know if it's that important for you. I feel like it's you guys who really put pressure on him to yeah, agree with that. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, course. why not? This is important. This is our religion. He must baptize, you know, so our culture. So I don't know, why, why not uh, you change your uh, mind? For the baby, it is a must. I don't think it's a must. I'm letting him do it. He don't baptize? Yeah. The he baby goes to hell. Till hell. I don't like this idea of hell. You go, you're bad. You're going to hell. That's really important. I don't want hell in his life. And I told you, if I catch you doing that, that would be one of the reasons that I really would leave. You act like he's eggs now, I swear. That is real. That's really. You're gonna let your sisters talk to me like this? Yeah. I mean, we not disrespect you. Spending time with Binyam's sisters makes me feel like they're giving 100% of their support to Binyam. Ari needs a little more support from them so that Ari will have someone here that she can go to and talk to. This is pretty one-sided right now. Do you have a fear like us, their uh, relationship between them? Very much so. This, this doesn't look easy, you know, and, uh, and, and I'm not taking any bets on this. I, I, I don't know. I, I hope this works out between uh, Ari and, and Binyam. They do appear to be in love. They do appear to want to make a life together. Will that happen? There's a lot of uncertainty here. Am I allowed to be worried? Absolutely. But hopefully love uh, can win out. We have to prove them all wrong. That's good, I like that. Prove us wrong. It's okay, baby. Okay, so.
I know this is a very special day for you. Mm -hmm. You know, it just remind me because if I can remember that, maybe I'll feel like, okay, this is a good thing, you know? Yeah. My parents left a few days ago, and I know that they weren't happy that I was being pressured into baptizing Avi, but I promised Benny I would do this, and I'm not gonna go back on my promise. This is for our culture, like, uh, baptism. As well, apartheid, we can like save him for like uh, for devil, like anything, like just like it's very like important. I don't want like messed up inside, like uh, on free counts. Bini doesn't trust me that I will let Avi go through with this baptism because I ran away from the circumcision but he really needs to look at the fact that I got up today super early in the morning, I put on the traditional clothes and I dressed Avi. She needs to chill out and just appreciate what I'm doing. My feeling is this is a very important day for you. And so I'm happy for you. But you have to be very patient with me today because it's a very difficult day for me. ቤተሰቦች የኦርቶዶክስ ተዋሕዶ አማኞች ስለሆኑ ይሄ ነገር ለልጅ መጠመቁ ለኛ በጣም ኢምፖርታንት ነው። ታሪ ለሷ ደግሞ በጣም ከባድ ሊሆንባት እንደሚችል አቃለሁ ምን አልዋት እሷ ጂ ስለሆነች ደስተኛ አይደለችም ግን ያው ስለተቀበለሽ ብቻ ለሬ ትልቅ ነገር ነው። ነገር ግን በጣም ፈርቻለሁ። Vinny has not told me like what to expect, how to prepare, and I'm kind of going in blind. He's so cute. I know. He's he's like so cute. Cute. Vinny's sisters are sitting behind me, like to kind of help guide me, but I'm not really sure what's going on. The priest looks at me, and obviously I look different than everyone else, and there's like smoke, incense, and the priest comes by and like shoves a Bible in my face. So it's, it's a lot. No one explained to me why Avi has to be naked for the baptism, but it doesn't look fun. <laughs> What's now? Can I take it? Just, it's like special. Oh. 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 Oh.
ወይ ደሞ ውስጥ ገብተል ወይ ቄሱን ገፍተራ ቴዳልጅ በቀ እንደዛ ታንክስ ቱ ጋድ ሺ ዲደንት ሺ ዳዝንት ዲውት ሺ ዲደንት ላይክ ሳክሪፋይስ ፎር ሚ ላይክ አይ አይ ሪሊ አፕሪሼት ፎር አሪ Abby has just been baptized and now we get to the fun part of the day where we get to actually celebrate as a family we get to eat a lot of food she you have to put here in the Vinny's cousin brings out injera bread which is traditional Ethiopian bread and we are supposed to wrap the baby in it baby sandwich well, how do i do it just show me Yeah, put put him like on his side yeah. no don't flip it just put him here she sits yeah like sitting no 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 sleep sleep yes yes <laughs> From what I understand, wrapping Avi in injera brings wealth and good fortune. No, you want it? He likes it. Injera only by one. Okay. It's finally baby Avi is baptized. You can see in my face I'm so happy. I mean we were so scared because you know like Aria Lash is not her religious but I was so surprised I never see her behave like this. She really behaved good today. <laughs> Even though I was 100% pressured into baptizing Avi, I actually feel good that I agreed to do this because at the end of the day, maybe not the most pleasant experience for me, but I'm going to hold the memory of Vinny and his family's happiness forever. Uh, hey babe. Yes. Where are we going? I want to go like the holy water. Just I want to show you just around and then I want to show you and then we can go my town like say a celebration. Do you mind if you give me the baby holder maybe? Yeah, no, it's fine. Just when you come. So many people like I know like... we can try just if you crowd it we can come back. It's loud. It's very loud. This is not loud. I just got here and I'm really wondering are we doing the right thing by bringing Avi here? There's a lot of people here and there's like open sun and the speakers are really loud. The baby is only 1 month old. If a lot of water gets on I'm being really upset. It's fine. The baby just Because you know the baby's really sensitive. I mean, I'm just worried that people will hate him or something. We can try just if you crowd it I will give you to you the baby. Come on. Okay. Get too wet, babe. No, Please. It's, it's okay. Don't worry, babe. Babe. There's hundreds and hundreds of people all jumbled together in front of these priests that are like hosing people down with holy water out of a garden hose. I have no idea where this water is coming from or why it's holy, but they're all desperate to get the water and they're just pushing up against each other. Baby, baby, baby. Come on. Come this way. Come. Baby, this is too much. Okay, okay, so it's a nap. It's a nap. I can't go. Okay. I'm so upset. 
አሪ ምናልባት እሷ ፈርታ ሊሆን ይችላል በውሃ መርጠውን ነገር ግን ያው የተቀደሰ ውሃ ስለሆነ ምናልባት ያ ውስጥ ያለው መንፈስ ፈርቶ ሊሆን ይችላል ብዬ አስባለሁ What's wrong with you? You want to ruin your day? No, you're really ruining my day. Huh? But you keep pushing my boundaries. Baby, listen to me. Listen. You're yelling at me. Listen, listen to me. Of course, I won't let you yell at you. No, you don't. Let and me you give it to you. Just don't put your finger in my face. Give me, give me Abby. It's it's overstimulating for a baby. I'm not comfortable. and i don't think that's unreasonable in any way and i feel like i'm really trying hard to explain that but the lack of language and the lack of a will to understand on baby's part just makes this very hard i really want him to enjoy the holiday but not at the expense of everybody else i want to feed him so it's enough for avi and enough for me we can go home Right now I'm so mad. Ari she's no in person. Rason no metodo na yerason smith which anu betered. Lem don alak. Uh if I'm not uh, go calm down, I don't think so if I'm uh, proposing uh, now. Vinny and I got into a huge fight because I didn't want to keep walking around the festival with Avi. I really want to go home, but now Vinny insists that we go to his neighborhood and continue the celebration. So I'm hoping we can compromise. We can stay for a little bit, but then we can head home soon. I really want to go home. I'm tired, and I'm sure the baby's tired. But I wanted, you know, I know this is a special day for you, so I wanted to spend, you know, like an hour here. Just this is not. the place to be all day for a baby but i just wanted to spend a little time with you you know if you happy you can stay whatever you want. i don't want if you if you upset like or sad whatever okay obviously you're still upset i'm not upset just i want to know just if i do something tell me sure okay you did wrong today eh huh? you did wrong today What did I do? Okay, first of all, you're a great dad. You love your baby, but you have to realize that in environments with 200,000 people, with loud noises, and with big crowds that are pushing at the baby, are not good for the baby. Baby, it's once one day. If you did, it doesn't like, matter if it's one day. All it takes is one time for someone to smack the baby in the head. He's damaged for life. Lemon dona alaikum. He can ya nda tabba kuti yeda lingen ala anabara. اني تمكتن بحر لا اري بروبوز مارك حسبالو يا اري بتام خمچقچقوا يتنسا لتاسقمطين بالامچ and the right thing for you to do would be to go home with your family that would be the right thing to do it's not about your favorite day anymore it's about the baby my baby is crying now he need to feed i want to put him in my brother's house አንቶት ታሪጋ ብዙ ጊዜ سنጣላ ብዙ ጊዜ እኔ ነን ተጭ የሞጦ ለገሮች ለማቀስቀስ ብዬ ማለት ነው አይ ዋንት ቱ ጎ ዘር ኢን ዘ ሴሌብሬሽን ዘ ዶ ራይ ፎር ሴሬሞኒ ያይን የጥንቀተን ባህር ለማሳለፍ ወስኛ I do have a tendency to freak out especially when it involves my son. 
but he thinks I'm looking for an excuse to make conflict. He doesn't realize I'm really worried, rightfully so. At the same time, though, I could have expressed myself in a more calm manner. Okay, I love you, my boy, let's go. I really don't want to fight today. I know this day is super important for him. I know we got off to the wrong start, but I have hope for the day, like we could turn it around. At the end of the day, I love Vinny, and I don't want to continue this. This has been horrible. Uh, excuse me, guys. Vinny, can you hold the, the baby? I want to go find Vinny, okay? Okay. I love you. Do you love me? Yeah, I love you. Come on, we want to show you something. And in Nario, but Tom can only lose the check at checks in Nazanaz and Abara. Good. Ari, what any gametta and the Matudin Susanagri, but what a massable summit with a massable goal, Yega Bachili Matach. But I'm Lenny to lick Malagino. Mazamarano to but I'm Yazamaruna Bara. Mknatum here, Lenny, but I'm to lick and no, the chink and Ma and Yamelton Alfred. I want to know. If you if you do if you do, if you love me, just I want to know something. Big surprise. I mean, after the day we just had, this is so crazy. This is I read for you just where you made me just was too late. Ana batun lo mi usti adarakut baza batun kat gize ya onda bahal wando chena seto chini mitaj acho bat ba lo mi yetho arawaru darat ya yetamathatu. This is the coolest proposal of all time. And the fact that we were fighting all day and then I would say yes just goes to show that our relationship is a little bit like that, you know? Even if we fight, we still love each other at the end of the day. Can I embarrass you and throw a lemon at you in front of everybody? It's my turn. If you had told me I would be living in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, raising a family here, having my son here, I would have said, sounds crazy to me. There's still so much we have to get through, and things are not going to be easy. But when you love someone, you try to work through all the hard stuff. And I'm hopeful for the future, but I know there's a lot more to come. But you know, the one thing I'm really happy about though, is my ex-husband, yeah. Leandro, he's coming. I think you'll miss him. Of course I miss him. He's my best friend. Because I'm feeling a little bit homesick, I asked Leandro to come visit to see the new baby and to meet Vinny, to see my life here. I want to talk like man to man. Yeah. Just, why you came like uh, here in Ethiopia? Yeah, I mean, she asked me, almost begged me to come because she was feeling homesick, uh, a little bit lonely, so I wanted to see what was going on. I never actually felt like and we broke up. I felt yeah, like it was but like... Yeah, then, it's like, hey, I got a human being inside me. And obviously that changed things. So I think that he have his hernia. So what he needs is a surgical intervention, which we need as soon as possible. Are you sure, though, surgery? That seems, like, very extreme. Like, this is my first baby, so when you tell me surgery, I'm, like, feeling, you know... Yeah, it's shocking, but it's common in pediatric age. 
and a lot of baby goes through, through this surgery. Listen, baby, I promise you, please don't go, please. Let's talk it out, not in the middle of the street, not in this Yes, city. I don't want to lose just my family, please. Hmm? I love you. Please, huh? if you love baby, me. please, please think about it. You know, it's very hard for me trusting, like, another white girl, like... But I think you should really give me a chance. I think you should really think about it before you tell me not to go. I think you should really think about it. Yesterday, Vinny got really mad, and he hid my passport from me. I was very upset and felt like that was, like, an aggressive act towards me. But I do understand that he's not acting like himself because he's so traumatized by what happened with his ex-wife. So I do forgive him for hiding the passports, and he did give them back to me almost immediately, so. He just had surgery, and he's already all, looks like all better. And how's mom? Mom is fine. She didn't freak out. She handled it well. If you want to try and be a family, me and Avi and you can move to Mombasa, and we can start over again. But if you don't want to come to Kenya, we can figure out a custody arrangement and we can co-parent together. That's, those are the options. When you were, when Ari was gone, did you cheat on Ari? No. I just had to ask. <laughs> no, that's what she thinking, but no, it's not, it is not like that. Absolutely, it is not like that. So there's not another girl in your life. If I have another girl, why am I coming here? Like, yeah, just like something that's the like... question. I'd like us to try to go to the U.S. Uh, of course, this is not forever. Yes, I understand. If you'd like to do that, then I think we could have a really successful marriage and happy life together. So I'm actually calling with some fantastic news. We have received our final packet from the consulate, and we have an interview date in 19 days. Mm, wow, that's, that's actually very soon. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if we're, we're ready for that. I hope everything is work. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like he knows that if you separate us, it's very hard, like, I'm trying my best, like, this relationship really work. I really can't see a future together without the visa, but I don't want to lose him. So not getting this visa would be really devastating. I understand. I'm the worst, you know? Sometimes I'm not nice, but I love you. Uh, I want to say something, like, for especially my family. Uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, this uh, I'm so stressing. Uh, uh, I'm in your visa again, Charlo, yeah, American visa. Mm. Now, like a liberia, so knows, yeah. To move there. Oh, eh. Uh, uh, I know. Uh, I know. 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 I this is her fault. He likes she always manipulate him, you know, she always control him. She's control freak. And he always come and tell us like he's not happy. So we really scared that what's gonna happen to Binyam after he left to in the US because I don't trust her. This is really shame. I 
I only understand about 30% of what they're saying, but it's total bull no. No, Him not telling you this has nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with me at all. Tell, you can tell the truth that I, I never said anything to you about it, and I would never tell him not to tell his family. That would be so up on so many levels. I would never do that. But you're also our family. You should tell us. You guys are my family. Yeah. I know, but I you know, you are, sometimes... We are family, but you say something. Listen, don't come here to fight with me because the truth is we're that... Not no, fight. Like, like, listen, not. we're not here to fight. First of all, you just tell us. Yeah, that's so not we my surprised. fault. That has nothing we are to do with me. Here. That's Vinyam's decision. I don't, I don't care who, like, whose fault it is, but if you think you are family, you should tell us. He should tell us too. Right, you but you he's, he's, that's his like, decision. Like, we treat you like a sister, you. but like... You, you don't just, treat me like a sister, no, you guys are really... If that's how you treat your yes. sister, I want nothing but to do with you. But I'm not nice to me, and I'm not being nice to me. No, you're not. You're not. For them to say that they've been nice to me is just, it's just a lie. It's just laughable to me that I should have told them because we have a good relationship. Benny is an adult and he ended up making a stupid decision not to tell his sisters. The fact that they blame me for his decision, it's ridiculous. I feel feeling feeling about about okay, family. I'm happy that I'm not gonna see you guys anymore. And you yeah. know what? I didn't well, I marry, I'm not going to marry you guys. I'm marrying Benny. Oh, it's crazy. Ow, that bird is cheap. Oh, bitch. Oh, my God, I've never gotten alcohol to the right place before. That's a new experience. Fell again? No, no. Oh, my God. I'm kind of in shock. Benny, Benny. Maybe if we yell out enough, they'll show up. <laughs> oh my God, Ar! Ah! Ari, Ari. Come on, Ar. I need a hug. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, you look great. You look great. How was the flight? Mm. You guys are tired, right? I'm tired. Oh my God, let me see this guy over here. In his Ethiopian garb. <laughs> oh my God, Benio, oh, you're here. Thing. You made it. Thank you. you made it. You like the sign yeah, we yeah. made for you? Yeah, here. I like it. That's for you. Welcome to the U.S. Finally, I'm here, and I'm so happy. For me, it's very, very excited uh, for me. It's so excited you lose your English. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so happy, like nervous. That's why I just I lose my English. Just lose. Okay, hug Dad. Oh, oh. It's good. Yeah. it's good, you're working out. Yeah, working out, I'm ready. <laughs> the muscles are there? Yeah, I'm still is there. Foster! Foster! <laughs> uh, yeah? Do you want these glasses? Oh, put them on him. Oh, my God, he's so adorable. Oh, my God, I am just on cloud nine. I feel like, I don't know whether they're cry, jump, or run. I, I'm blown away by Ari and Binyam, the way they look. And the baby got so big. Was it hard to fly all those hours? Yeah, yeah, very hard. Oh my God, um. so I'm so tired for yeah. flies. I didn't sleep very well, like almost 24 hours. Oh my God, he's such hours. a good dad. He was taking care of the baby. Yeah. I was like, do you need my help? And just, I take care of the baby. The baby's crying, changing diaper, everything's yeah. changed. Such like. a good dad, yeah. <laughs> You want to push him, Dad? I do. <laughs> I do. I'm good. I'm good at the push. No. Now that they're here today, I'm trying to f enjoy just the day. But you know, our our way of thinking is sort of like, okay, what's next? Like, oh, what are they going to do? And how's he going to like it? And what's he going to do when he's here? And so I have to stop myself today and think about just enjoying their company for the day. Honestly, I'm feeling really overextended lately. On top of driving Vinny to MMA practice, I just got a remote job at my friend's social media company. So like between being in the car, taking care of Avi, and working on my phone, it's just like, just too much. <laughs> okay, my own, oh, okay. I have the email written and everything, but I just needed to like copy and paste all the emails or whatever. Yeah, I am, um, I'm, I'm actually at the playground with Avi. Um, this is not how I pictured our time in the U.S. would be. Like, it feels like Vinny's doing his own thing while I'm over here taking care of everything else. Want to see Daddy? Huh? Let's go see Daddy. You miss Daddy, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Let's start again. We set. Okay. Take us back. Mm. Yep. Take us back. Hook in. Seat belt. Wee. Wee. We can go inside. Come on. Wee. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Get the hand off the top now, because she has that one on the top. There you go. Turn. Good work, and... Can you just watch Avi for a minute? Sure, sure, sure. You set? So you didn't think to tell me that you would be training with a girl? Hey, she's my friend. What's wrong? Yeah, you, you didn't. Th hey, you didn't. Th what's your name? No one's left. Just talk to me. Just no, I'm talking to her. What's your name? Hey, Molest. So you have full makeup on usually when you hey, get out of my way. Hey. You didn't think that you would tell hey, me that just there's a girl here? She have a competition. Have competition. Just we. Right, but you didn't think you should tell your future wife that you're training with a girl? That's fine. Just to no, practice. No, I'm asking like, you. Did you think that you should tell your wife the truth that there's a girl here named Melissa? Because, sorry, I just, I forgot, just... You forgot? Just you something. forgot? There's I no one else here. How would so you forget? So many times. How could you forget? There's no one else here. so many here. people. Every time I've come to the gym, Vinny's always been sparring with other men. I didn't realize that he is training with women. And here I come today, and he's, like, wrapped up with this woman with her legs all around him. It's like, he should have told me, but as usual, he didn't. Honestly, I feel defeated because since we've been in the U.S., we haven't really made that much progress in fixing the issues in our relationship. I thought that if Benny saw where I come from, he would be able to understand me better, but I feel like we've gotten more distance since we've moved to the U.S. On one hand, I love Benny, but love is not enough, and there's a lot of pressure to make the right decision. Hey, put it back, let's, let's, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dad. Oh, who's old? Is that the mommy? Mommy! Hi, Abby. Stop, oh. what's the bill? Good job. Good job. What's that? Abby, what is that? Shows for mommy. Shows for mommy. Oh. Yeah. Okay, which color do you like? Which one you like? You like, you this like one? that one? I like that one too, actually. Wow. Okay, good, good job. Yeah. High five. High five. High five for mommy. High five? Okay, what if I what if I wear it? Oh, look. See? No? no? Oh, it's yours? Okay, sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seeing Avi and Vinny together, like they have an amazing bond. Benny's such a great dad. And it just reminds me of what's important to me. Avi brought Benny and I together. And Avi is really, like, the biggest reason that Benny and I decided to overcome such difficult problems in the relationship. Like, we we both, I think what we both want the most, what Vinny and I both want the most is to see Avi happy. But thinking that this could be one of the last times that I see them together if we don't get married, it's like, really makes me realize that I want to keep my family together. That's what's important to me. Avi, I know you love those bow ties, but these pants are going to look so cute on you. Yeah. At our wedding. Hello. What do you think? You know, I don't know. Like, we've been together a long time yeah. now, you know? Yeah. And I know that we always fight, but we always love each other. Mm. I know, just uh, I know we fight uh, so many times, but I'm trying the best, you know, just uh, save this family, you know? You give me Avi, and then you are the one who make me happy. You, you are the one who make me bring back my smile, you know? Oh, I love you, too. <laughs> He's happy we're getting married. That's why you did that. Yeah, that's what he wants. Like, I never really thought I cared that much about having my own family. But now that I have my own family, I have the best family. <laughs> you know, you guys are the best. Yes. I'm always a pretty logical person, so sometimes I think, like, 
Benny and I are so different and we've had so many problems, so many issues with communication because our spirits are really different. But I think one of the reasons that we have such a happy baby is because this father is always making him laugh and he sees the world in a positive way. If Benny disappeared from Avi's life, like all of a sudden things would be very quiet and very dark. You are a light for me and Avi. Thank you. I love you. What? You want to kiss him? You want us to kiss? Okay. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 O
I mean, no one can, no one's parent can be perfect, but I mean, I think I really disappointed you. And so I feel bad because I really do want you to be happy. I want you to be with someone who makes you happy. But obviously I don't. Like, it's really hard to be around you because I know you hate being around me. So since Ari left, have you talked to her about anything? Or are you, you know, are you talking about what you guys are going to do, whether you have a future together? What's the communication been since she left? When I when I talked to her, like, her heart like, like, just like stone, like, was stubborn. I'm not forced for her, like. But do you still love her? Yeah, of course I love her. I know she loves me too, but. You're always at your friend's house all the time and you're not yeah. here. Life is short, I want to be happy, like. But it's this moment, you know, just, I don't want, like, stressing, like... Uh, Ari, she's, she's controlling, that's what I, I feel. She's blaming me every time. That's why just me and Ari, we're fighting a lot, because every time, I'm the one problem. <laughs> I'm the one. Uh, I didn't listen to her. I can't do everything. Ari, what does she want? Like, she has to support me what, what I like, what he makes me happy. When people don't love each other, they just don't care anymore. They don't get sad, they're not unhappy, it's over. If people are worried and they're, they feel upset, it's because they really care about each other, and Mary is really upset. 